Welcome to the Studio Files. Today I'm going to show you how to save your Pro Tools session in different sample rates as well as older versions of Pro Tools. This is useful to know how to do if you're interfacing with people that are using different sample rates or that are using older versions of Pro Tools. To do this, go up to the File menu and choose Save Copy In. At the top of this dialog box is where you choose the session format. I'm using Pro Tools 8 and so if I choose Latest it's going to save it as Pro Tools 8. If I click this menu, I have a lot of different options. Let's say hypothetically I'm working with somebody who's still using a 6 point something version. Let's choose that. Now down here you can choose which type of audio file, I'm going to leave it as WAV. The sample rate, I'm going to bump it up to 48k. And I'm going to leave the bit depth. Now as far as items to copy, since I'm changing the sample rate, all audio files are automatically selected. I can also choose to save different plugin settings folders. If I'm using any movie or video files, I want to click that. And if you click Preserve Folder Hierarchy, it's going to use the same folder path as is on your hard drive. I don't need to click that. Then you just need to choose where to save it. And I would recommend when saving it, do something to indicate that you've changed the sample rate. So I'm just going to put 48K on the end and hit save. Since I'm saving in version 6.9 format, Pro Tools is telling me things like Elastic Audio won't work, MIDI will be slightly different, markers above 200 will be dropped, things like that. I'm going to continue. Now Pro Tools is saving the project on the desktop, converting all the audio files to 48K. And if I go to the desktop with F11, I can see my folder is here, and it's saved as a 6.9 file. 